This is another video of function and sub procedure in QBasic, that is modular programming. So in my previous videos, we discussed these four programs and I have provided you the solution. You can check the link in the description to see these questions as well as solution. So now today, out of this five number, six number and seven number, I'm going to help you to solve one and remaining two, if you understand this one program, which I'm going to explain you today, you can solve remaining two. So I think out of this three, uh, I should help you to solve this one, seven number. That is write a program in QBC to input length, breadth and height and calculate four walls of room using function procedure. Okay, as you know, I'm going to write program in function as well as in sub. So it will help you to understand program very easily. Okay, let's begin. I'm using this QB 1.0 version. So let me write formula. What is that? If we want to write comment, so you should use rain. Formula is 2H bracket L plus B. This is the formula. Okay. Now we are going to declare a function. Declare function. So we are going to calculate area. So I'll write name as area. What are the requirements in the formula? Check. What we have? H that is for height, L and B. So I'll write here L, comma B, comma H. Length, breadth, and height. In this way, we should declare a function. Now, after this, if you want to write CLS, you can write here. After declaration, only you should write CLS. Now input. In input, you should input values which is inside the bracket. That is length, breadth, comma, height. So enter length, comma, breadth, comma, height. Semicolon for length L, comma, B, comma, H for length, breadth, and height. Okay. Now to call the function, function returns a value. So to store the return value, we should write X equals to now to call the function we should write function name that is area l comma b comma h with parameter this is function call this is what function call and the function returns a value so we should store that value in x so that's why i have written that <coughs> now to print the value print area of four wall is that is stored in x because we return the value and we have re stored return value in x. So that is area of power. And this is the end of the main module. Now, function module. So we should write function area bracket L comma B comma H. Same thing, you should copy it from here. Function area L comma B comma H. When you press enter button, the function module is start in this way. You don't need to worry, just write a code. In the function procedure, we should write function name that is area and the formula. Formula is 2 bracket, sorry, 2H bracket L plus B. This is how we should write in mathematics, but in QBasic, in programming, in computer, we should keep this as strict symbol for multiplication each time. So 2 multiply by H multiply by bracket L plus B. This is done now. So you can run this program by pressing F5 button from keyboard. So enter length, breadth, height. So I will enter length, comma, breadth, comma, height value. Area for wall is 108. This is working perfectly fine. So if you want to see both the modules, you can just go to view option, click on subs, and this untitled is main module. You can double click to open. This is main module. And go to subs again, and this area is sub module, function module. Okay. If you want to split, Click on split button and go to up here, cursor, subs again and open this untitled. So this is main module and this is function module. This is how it works. Now, if you want to do same thing using the sub procedure, so let me remove this line. So instead of writing function here, you should write sub. Done. And while calling a sub procedure, you don't need to write x equals to because sub procedure does not return a value. Make a note, sub procedure does not return a value. So to call the sub procedure, we should write here call. Call, then sub procedure name, that is area L comma B comma H done. 
sub procedure does not return a value so that means we don't need to print here any values we just remove this line okay and main module finished in the sub module instead of writing here again function we should write here sub and sub procedure does not return a value function returns a value so we should write function name while using formula while calculating but sub procedure does not return a value so we should write here something else not area this not this we can write something different so i'm using here a this sub procedure does not return a value so we should print this value here by writing print area of four walls is then we should write here a and let me run this program using sub procedure so i'll give some different value okay area of four wall is 40. this is using sub process hope you understand this concept if you are not clear you can just watch previous videos and you will be very much clear about it thank you for watching just try remaining two programs i'll provide this solution in the link below have a good time